a very warm hello to all my students i am professor veena balal and today we are going to see how to implement a multiplexer or what we popularly call as a mux in this software which is called as logisim now just before we start implementation of a multiplexer let me give you a brief about a multiplexer what is a multiplexer a multiplexer or a mux is a combinational circuit which has got multiple inputs and a single output so no matter what is what are the number of inputs the number of outputs are always going to be equal to 1 whether it is 2 is to 1 Four is to one, eight is to one, sixteen is to one. The number of inputs are different, but the number of outputs is always one. All right. Now uh, let me go ahead and uh, talk a bit about the select lines and the relationship of a multiplexer and number of inputs. Now the number of uh, two. There is a relationship two to the power of. number of select lines equals number of inputs okay so this equation is very important in order to find out the number of select lines and number of inputs right now uh, before we talk about this equation a bit we will see what are the uh, utilities which are required for our implementation of a multiplexer now on the left hand side there are various utilities which are given to you wiring gates multiplexer arithmetic memory input output base right now what is required by us is multiplexers so i'm going to extend this window so i get a multiplexer here okay i just pick it up and drop it over here so this is my multiplexer now what you can see in this multiplexer is that there are two inputs so and one output so this is my 2 is to 1 multiplexer suppose i want to implement 8 is to 1 multiplexer so according to this equation which is 8 is to 1 multiplexer this is 2 to the power 3 will be equal to 8 that means the number of select lines for 8 is to 1 multiplexer are 3 and number of inputs are 8 and number of output is 1 so today's implementation is multiplexer and that to 8 is to 1 multiplexer so what you can see in this regards or in this diagram is uh, a 2 is to 1 multiplexer so let's convert this uh, 2 is to 1 multiplexer let me take a multiplexer again okay place it at a proper position so that it is exactly in the center this is 2 is to 1 multiplexer this multiplexer's details are given on your left hand side it is facing east side select bits are 1 but i uh, want three select bits right so suppose if i select the number of select bits as 3 so according to the equation the number of inputs are going to be 8 it automatically my multiplexer has got modified into a 8 is to 1 multiplexer fine so my next part is to connect the number of inputs so let's go ahead and quickly connect our inputs so this is my say one input so i have connected input number 1 okay then i connect input number 2 since that these pins are closely present so you have to be very careful to have a proper face uh, spacing in between them okay so this is my next input so so i took this i connect it over there I connect. I take the fourth input. Suppose I take this input. Okay. Now, can you see all the lines are green, but this is blue color? 
this is because I have not connected it to this particular point. So this also indicates to you that it's a mistake which is done by you. Fine. So what you can do is delete this entire thing like this. So I am connecting it over here. Okay. And take this input. Okay. If I connect it like this. So now this has become green. So any color which is green shows that the connection is properly done. Okay. So now my this is my input. So I'm connecting that particular input over here and this point I'm connecting here. Then my next input in this way. And I'm taking the input and putting it over here and connecting it over here. Okay. Then my seventh input. Okay. This is my input. I'm connecting it over here. And my last input is my 8th input. 8th one. And I am taking my input. And connecting it like this. Okay. So all my 8 inputs are connected of a multiplexer. This is my enable input. And this is my select input. Now select input. There are 3 select lines which are to be connected. Right. So I first connect it. So let's first finish connecting this. Okay, any which ways you connect provided it is connected to the one unit. Now it says that there are three uh, bits. Okay, but uh, what is connected is only one bit. So you can change it over here then it will accept. See here. Okay. So why it was showing that error in orange color because the number of select lines were 3 because it is 8 is to 1 multiplexer and first you tried to connect only one bit. So it was not accepting uh, that particular calculation. Now I made the data bits for this select lines equal to 3 and I got this properly done. Okay. And the next one is now the last thing which is the connection of the output. So here select any type of output device from input output. I will select an LED. Okay. Once I connect it, I get the details of the LED. Facing, uh, then on color, then off color. Suppose on color by default is always red. Okay. So suppose if I want to make the on color as a green color. So let's make it a green color. On color is green color. So I have made it as a green color. Okay. You can keep it as a default which is red color does not matter. So this is my green color. Now what my multiplexer says depending on the combination of the select lines my one of the input will be going to the output. So let's uh, give some default different values to my inputs. Right now all are 0 0 0 so it will be very difficult to know uh, whether our circuit is working properly or not. Fine. So let's change this. Let's make this 1. Let's make this 0. This is 1. This is 0. This is 1. This is 0 and let's make the last two 1, 1. This is randomly. Okay. This I have made this as 1. Okay. Now depending on the combination of the select lines, your in a particular input will go to the output. So if you see now the combination is 0, 0, 0. So my first input is going to the output. Okay, so that means my LED is glowing, that is green color. Now suppose if I change this to 0, 0, 1, what happens? 0 goes to the output, so LED is off. Then 0, 1, 0, what is happening? 1 is going to the output, LED is on. Then 0, 1, 1, now LED is off. Then after this combination, the next one is 1, 0, 0. So my LED is on. The next one is 1, 0, 1. LED is off. Then the next combination is 1, 1, 0. Second last input is going to the output. So it is on. And last select line combination is 1, 1, 1. 
it is connected to one so it is uh, turned on so my LED is turned on. So depending on the combination of select lights one of the input is going to the output. Now it's up to you what type of color you select for your uh, LED. Now suppose if I make this as one. Let's, let's check it out. Suppose if I make this as one. Okay. Now for this one to go to the output. Okay. So what I require 0, 0, 1. So what is happening? 1 is going to the output. Suppose if I make this 0. So 0 is going to the output. So likewise for the print combinations of select line, one of the inputs goes to the output. This is what is the concept of multiplexer. Likewise, you can implement any size of the multiplexer depending upon how many select lines you choose. I hope this is very clear to you all students and please implement it at your end. It is a very interesting experiment to understand the basic operation of a multiplexer. Thank you students. Thank you so much. Take care.